Hello friends, today we will take MRI prostate that is multi-parametric MRI prostate. This is, the pro uh, this is the preparation for MRI prostate. Patient has to be fasting for at least 4 hours and his blood test that is serum creatinine has to be normal. normal. Then injection buscopan, uh, this is optional, uh, we give it uh, intramuscular to avoid bowel artifacts then patient should pass urine just before uh, taking MRI then previous reports are required like sonography, CT scan, MRI or blood reports like PSA and the last is explained and written consent to avoid MRI contraindications this is the protocol we have acquired plane localizer and tito weighted satch and tito weighted axial t1 weighted axial tito weighted coronal t2 fs axial diffusion and diffusion tsc and then the post contrast we start with uh, dynamic scan we have seven dynamics here and uh, then post contrast in three planes axial coronal and sagittal and the last is spectro we will see the first planning of sagittal remember we have to take sagittal sequence first always in any pelvis whether it is female pelvis or male pelvis so this is the first sequence we have acquired that is t weighted sag you can see the planning on coronal axial and sagittal as well see i am scrolling we have taken it from the left to right so i'm scrolling it down see i'm going to the right side this is the prostate this is the urinary bladder this is the rectum before planning further like coronal or axial we have to see the reference line so this is the reference we have taken that is urethra this is the urethra so planning of axial and coronal should be parallel and uh, perpendicular to the urethra so this is the reference line we will take you can see the planning of t 2 weighted axial and t one weighted axial so it's perpendicular to the urethra okay, this is seminar with the vesicles this is the prostate this is the rectum and this is urinary bladder you can see here Same is for T1 weighted axial and T2FS axial. We will see next planning that is of coronal. See now it is parallel to the urethra. This is prostate. This is urethra. planning of diffusion and diffusion TSC okay, before proceeding uh, like to show you the geometry of t weighted axial that is the field of view and slice thickness we kept it the field of view is uh, 199 uh, millimeter 
and right to left is 207 which is not mentioned here obviously and the voxel size you can see here 0 0.50 0 0.69 by 2.80 millimeter and the slice thickness we have acquired that is 2.8 millimeter into 0 0.7 millimeter you can exceed it uh, till 3 millimeter ok now the dynamic this is the dynamic scan 1 see the range we have taken it most most of the uh, pelvis area you can see dynamic 1 dynamic 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 dynamics we have acquired after dynamic 1 you have to start injecting and simultaneously you have to start the scan as well post, post contrast FS axial that is T1 in all three plane axial, coronal and sagittal this is axial this is coronal and the last one is sagittal see the planning that is an additional sequence for pelvis all the pelvis region to see a lymph nodes in case any lymph nodes are there we can cover it and now the prostate uh, that is multiparametric spectroscopy of prostate according to the lesion you have to take the spectro you can see we have taken it on the prostate and we have covered the lesion I will show you the processing of it take spectro spectro view and select prostate prostate region long te i have selected long te you have to avoid h2n lipase and run and you can select the individual voxels according to your region of interest and you can save it by capturing ok and this will come to your database patient database and you can see it here like this ok friends if you have any doubt please comment thank you